I'd like to welcome you all to this annual uh, business breakfast, and I'd also like to uh, welcome Patrick McLuhan. I think there's four pronunciations he's told me for his name. I think that's one of them uh, from Gaelic Electric, uh, who has joined with us in supporting this uh, annual event. There is a particular link to sharing the sponsorship with a company that is investing in renewable energy, as it brings with it. Uh, many benefits to the economy in terms of construction, increased supply capacity and carbon reduction measures and more. I'm sure uh, Patrick will tell you more about that. And I recognize uh, many faces from the, the dinner here uh, from last night and having also just enjoyed the uh, first rate Ulster Fry. I think we can take some satisfaction uh, from the useful contribution that we have all just made to the Northern Ireland agri-food sector, uh, as well as to local tourism. Uh, joking apart, we have uh, been well looked after by the staff here um, at Le Monde. It's a perfect example of one of Northern Ireland's uh, typical businesses working in the tourism sector, creating wealth employing people and championing local produce from the agri-food sector. And perhaps you could join with me in acknowledging the staff and the owners for the contribution they have made. <laughs> However, to be a successful business today means being exposed to the chill wind of the economic downturn, which has brought with it banking difficulties, rising energy prices, inflation, loss of consumer confidence, and many other challenges. And tragically, uh, many local businesses have been overwhelmed with record numbers closing, unable to resist the tide of rising costs and falling sales. And almost all of these factors are outside the direct influence of any business owner or politician. But beyond the external factors, over which little can be done to effect change, there are a great many things where beneficial change can be delivered by our local politicians. The FSB has never been shy in highlighting these areas and articulating the needs of its members and championing the typical business of Northern Ireland. Now many of these issues are covered by departments that are led by ministers from the DUP and we are encouraged by the huge and genuine interest that these ministers and the DUP as a whole take in the business community. The First Minister has worked relentlessly in championing of Northern Ireland businesses, often uh, on the international stage. He has used the office of the First Minister to help generate inward investment in order to create employment. And this is a very valuable and welcome support as small businesses are working to open up export markets and to expand overseas trade. The high profile uh, leadership of this sort gives great support and assistance in building the Northern Ireland brand. The uh, Finance Minister, Sammy Wilson, uh, listened to the FSB's call for assistance to small businesses 18 months ago when he launched the Small Business Rates Relief a policy for which the FSB has been lobbying for some time. And that very welcome initiative saw a major investment by the executive in many of our smallest businesses. And this value was clearly felt by many of our members. So we immediately called for its further <coughs> extension. And once again, the minister responded, but this time he's landed himself in a fairly bruising contest as he's is seeking to pay the, the small business support by a levy on large retailers, and some of whom have responded aggressively. But I think we all know that Sammy Wilson will, I, will have enough to know that he's, he's a man to walk away from a fight. Uh, as a champion of the typical business of Northern Ireland, this is a welcome characteristic. I think you will be, uh, uh, Simon Wilson, or Hamill will be following him, his footsteps. The Deputy Minister is, is one whose uh, department has a wide range of responsibilities affecting businesses, investment, export, R&D, energy, tourism, agri-foods are key parts of the portfolio and similarly they affect a substantial number of our 8,000 members in Northern Ireland. 
the provision by the Minister, Arlene Foster, of the £50 million <coughs> loan fund, which will give businesses an opportunity of access to new finance, is an illustration of the commitment she has shown to the business sector and for which she is to be congratulated. This is a bold move and we are encouraged by her responsive attitude to find imaginative solutions to the problems that face our businesses and we look forward to maintaining a close relationship so that the views of our grassroots members are quickly realised and acted upon. Also, the DUP has two further departments. Edmund Fitch Health Department absorbs a massive slice of the block grant, but historically has had little direct relevance to the, the small business community. However, with a combination of budget restrictions and an appetite to see improvements, there is an increasing opportunity for small businesses to innovate and to deliver services and goods as part of a more dynamic and transformed health service. And this represents an opportunity for a real rebalancing of the economy away from the public sector delivering to private. The other is the Department of Social Development and Nelson McCausland there is a champion to deliver effective town centre regeneration. The FSB has always made known the support for the proposed business improvement districts. Whilst there were uh, inherited proposals they offer a very positive opportunity for local businesses to take a stake in their area and drive change. And we look forward to supporting the Minister as he takes the legislation through. So we have a team of Ministers whose commitment to businesses <coughs> is fully on display. The future of success in Northern Ireland has to be a genuine partnership between business and politicians, each listening to the other, responding, sharing ideas and taking risks. The First Minister uh, said last week when he launched the programme for government that the executive should be judged by how we deliver. The programme for government and the economic strategy clearly indicate the executive's intention to deliver with corporation tax being one of the most important policies by which that delivery will be judged. It is vital that the ministers are unwavering in their determination to take these powers and use them. And the Yardstick will apply to all of us when we are judged by future generations. Businesses live or die by the decisions they take, their ability to read their customers and their competitors, their ability to respond and their management of risk. Therefore, the, the comparison between business and politics is quite close. The onus is, on, is not just on our politicians to deliver, but it's on the business and, and the business organisations and just as you have shown yourselves to be responsive and supportive to businesses, be measured that businesses will be supportive of, and of courageous decisions and actions that you take to improve the prospects of our economy and our people. And so, um, on behalf of the Federation of Small Business, I wish the DUP a successful conference uh, for the rest of the day. Thank you.